So best local services, he was actually the one that um, – why I, where I started saying that I'll, I'll answer the question next week. He says, I'm doing some rank and rent videos stuff at the moment with Bill Cousins stuff. Okay. He says, I was watching one of the webinars and Bradley, you were the, on there. My question is, what is the best way to utilize tools like Sendwire and SendLab? I have both so I can push the videos that are on second page or if they're on the first page to cement their spot on page one. Um, I have like 700 plus networks inside the tools so I can do lots of blasts but need a range or strategy to not penalize my videos or ruin the rankings. When blasting, what's the safe range to use with tools to not overdo it? How many backlinks, embeds, status updates, video backlinks, etc.? I don't want to overdo it, but I also don't want to underdo it. Let me know, please. Thank you. And so I told Best Local Services that I would uh, talk about this briefly. Um, just some strategies here. First of all, guys, remember, YouTube is one of the things that engagement drives rankings. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be mostly link-based, but now it's more about engagement. I know I know videos that can rank for incredibly competitive terms with engagement alone. In other words, no heavy backlinking, just natural organic backlinking and uh, social sharing and social and, and activity from engagement. Right? Remember when you get if you got a video that's getting even like I'm not even saying going viral and getting you know hundreds of thousands or millions of hits. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying because like think about for local videos. Like local videos aren't going to are very rarely ever going to go viral, right? I mean like it, there would have to be something crazy in the video for it to go viral or something like that. So that that that's not what I'm talking about. But for local like lead gen videos, just getting depending on the search volume for the keywords that you're ranked for. But let's say that a keyword gets you know on average 200 searches per month. And you've got your video getting a steady stream of like, I don't know, 30 video, 30 views per month or excuse me, per week. Um, that's that's significant. That's a significant amount of uh, of of activity or engagement for that keyword. If it's especially if it's like a search and a click through to the video, because that's a signal that Google and YouTube know. Right. They know that somebody did a keyword search either in Google or in YouTube, found your video and clicked on it. And engaged with it and that's that's a huge ranking signal right now for videos right is engagement and so that's called like CT spam and there's apps that will do that although they pretty much all suck at this point um, because they're bots and, and Google's algorithm is smart enough now to understand that but there's also um, our YouTube view service which is in the make Google your bitch or mgyb.co marketplace which are real people it's not a bot service it's not like all them stupid YouTube buying or views buying services that you would go to before that are totally spammy that will get your uh, channels terminated now. Um, this These are real people. So you can do that. You can also set up YouTube ads. I've talked about that numerous times on Hump Day Hangouts. Um, just go, go go to our YouTube channels at youtube.com slash semantic mastery and search for how to use YouTube ads for local uh, to rank local videos or something like that. Just search for that. You'll find I've talked about it so many damn times. I'm not going to recap it right now, but there you can set up YouTube ads to help rank your videos. So first and foremost engagement. I know that has nothing to do with the two tools you're asked about, but what I, what I want to point out is if you're not getting engagement on your video, like natural views or paid views, when I say paid views, I mean by setting up YouTube ads because now you're buying views directly from Google, right? Um, or from our service, which are basically it's paid. It's a paid traffic service too. Um, but what I'm saying is, if you're not getting engagement, but you're getting a shit ton of embeds and a shit ton of backlinks and all that kind of stuff, guys, that's completely unnatural. If you don't think Google's algorithm is smart enough now to know that it's just getting spammed to death for ranking to manipulate its search position, then you're crazy. Because if you think about it, if it's collecting hundreds of thousands or tens of that whatever of links, thousands of links and thousands of embeds and thousands of social signals and stuff, but there's no actual views and engagement with the video, then is that natural? Absolutely not. And that's a simple detection by the algorithm now. So my point is like before you go crazy with all these backlinking tools and uh, you know uh, social sharing tools and all that kind of stuff, I would first start traffic, bona fide, real traffic, genuine traffic. Again, YouTube ads or our, our YouTube view service is great. Um, and then from the, and then you can even do some CT spam stuff if you do it correctly. But it's I, like, and what I mean by CT spam is again, just go to our YouTube channel, search for CT spam or click through spam. You'll see a bunch of, uh, I've talked about that many, many different times too. Okay. So get it, start the engagement process first. 
once you get that going, then you can start hammering it with backlinks and embeds. Um, if you're going to go the backlink and embed route, just go real conservative at first. Like for example, we have a uh, video powerhouse inside of serpspace.com and that's an embed network. But guys, even me, like, you know, I have access to, I can post to all the networks that I want because it's, you know, it's our service, but I don't do it. When I go to promote my own videos, I'll do like a 50 embed tier one embed uh, on it. And then I'll, I'll drip it out over 14 days because it doesn't require a whole lot, especially if you're driving traffic or signals, engagement signals to the video. Right. And, and, and I'm telling you, it, it responds so well if you are providing engagement signals first and then you add some embeds and some backlinks and stuff, it will re respond so much better. Okay, but lastly, because you had asked specifically about how to use them tools and not how to and, and how to not overdo it, one of the ways that you can not or that you can help from um, not overdoing it is don't embed that like don't take the video and link directly to the video URL with thousands of backlinks, and don't take the video and embed it in hundreds or thousands of properties. Now, guys, I know there's some people here that all they do is mass spam campaigns and it still works, and I, I get that. I understand that it, it does still work. What you can brute force SEO sometimes videos up, but what I'm saying is that's not necessary because if you just provide proper engagement signals to begin with, then you only need a tiny fraction of the off-page signals, the, S, the traditional SEO signals and backlinks and embeds and such for you to achieve the same results that the mass spammer had to put, you know, build tens of thousands of links and do, you know, hundreds or even thousands of embeds to get the same result, if that makes sense. So I always try to do things with the least amount of effort, guys. I like easy. You know, I like easy. And easy to me is setting up an engagement campaign and then adding in a little bit of SEO to into the mix to, to, to give it the push that it needs. So if you're going to be doing the SEO stuff primarily instead of doing engagement, then you just don't want to do the SEO stuff direct to the video URL or to take and do tier one embeds, like take that, that the embed code and just blast the shit out of it all over the place. Unless you're going to, like I said, unless you're providing engagement signals. So how do you get around that? What is the other way? We'll do second tier stuff. In other words, like we talk about all the time about how powerful using Google properties are. So, take the video and embed it into a Google site, right? Or a, Google, a blogger site. Um, I, you know, Google sites are incredibly powerful right now. So I would say add, add the video to a Google site and then hammer the shit out of the Google site with backlinks, right? Because now you've got, now you're, it's, you're not hitting the video directly. You're hitting the Google site, which is, I, and the, the video is iframed in the Google site. And Marco could go on a huge tangent about the power of iframes. If you want to learn that, come join RYS Academy Reloaded, right? But again, just think about it smartly. You don't want to hit the, the, the video you asset directly with a shit ton of SEO signals unless you have engagement signals that would warrant that kind of SEO signals, right? If you're going to be just hammering SEO signals, then do it on a second tier or within an iframe loop because that's how you can prevent overdoing it and getting your um, uh, video sandboxed. Okay. Does anybody else want to comment on that? That was a great question, by the way. I, yeah. I, I just want to ask, uh, uh, boil it down a little bit because a lot of people are, you know, are talking about all of these traffic signals and whether they're ranking signals or whether they're, they're ranking factors and all this other shit and they try to confuse you or they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And it boils down to art. A R T activity relevance and trust and authority. Trust and authority, as far as Google determines it, right? Not by some uh, a third party metric that nobody knows how the hell it works because somebody else wrote the algorithm besides Google. Nobody can guess Google's algorithm. You can all you can only take an educated guess. We don't know, but what we do know is that when we apply art, when we apply Activity, which is what Bradley Bradley mentioned, you get some type of activity going. Real people looking at your video. That's activity. Yep. You get relevance. Is the video relevant? Is it and is everything that it's that, that it's connected to? Is it relevant? Because it has to not only be relevant in the in the video channel where it's on. It has to be relevant to wherever the embed is occurring, or to wherever people are watching it. And there has to be trust and authority. YouTube is great. It's trusted. It's authoritative. But is the destination, wherever you're embedding, is, is that 
trusted and authoritative. Well, we know how to make it trusted and authoritative. That's what RYS uh, Academy Reloaded is, is, is all about. But guys, it's all about art. When you order uh, the done for you uh, user's guide, I go into detail about, about art and what it's all about and how to achieve art.